One part of our home that is often underutilized are our walls. They're a blank slate just waiting for our creativity to add our personality to this space. What if we could design a product that could utilize our walls in a creative way that also benefits our health and home? Today, we'll be designing and making a custom wall planter with a Prusa 3D printer. I start with a rough sketch to capture my concept for the project. The idea is to 3D print a product where the frame that attaches to the wall is integrated with a planter and drip tray that also provides self-irrigation. As I sketched the idea, I focused on the shape of a diamond because it reduced the overall volume, which also reduces the overall weight of the final installation with soil and plants. With the rough idea sketched out, I set up my laptop, load up Rhinoceros, and begin designing a 3D model of the product. I start by using the polyline command to draw a rectangle as a guide for the diamond. Using the polyline command again, I connect a line from all the center points of each line and end up with the overall shape of the backer plate. For the planter, I use the polyline command to trace the bottom half of the diamond to get a triangle shape and use the offset command to pull it inward by half of an inch. This gives the planter enough space for the drip tray to fit directly under it. I follow the same series of commands to create another smaller triangle at the base of the diamond. This will be the drip tray that I mentioned before. The last part of the drawing process is to draw a line down the center of the smaller triangle to connect one point to the center of one line. Using the move command in a side view, I move the line up two inches. Now, we're ready to create the 3D model. I start by using the line command to connect the end of the line that's up high to the base of the diamond and another from the same point on the line down to one of the side points of the diamond. This creates the overall shape of the drip tray, which we can turn into a surface using the loft command and selecting both lines. With the surface created, I use the mirror command to copy it over the center of the diamond. This creates the overall form, which we use the join command to combine. To create the planter, we follow the same process and move the line vertically up 3 inches. I'll probably scale this design up to fit the maximum size of my 3D printer, but these dimensions will get us the proportions that we need for this project. After joining the surfaces together, I use the offset surface command and thicken the surfaces to roughly 1 8 of an inch so it's rigid enough to hold wet soil and not leak. To cut a drainage hole through the planter, I draw a 1 8 inch wide rectangle, use the extrude command, and pull it to a 1 8 inch thickness. I use the move command to center it in the planter, move it down until it's protruding through the planter, and use the boolean difference command to cut the shape out of the bottom tip of the planter. Using the boolean union command and selecting all of the 3D components, I join them together to create one model. Lastly, I draw a circle that's a little larger than 1 8 of an inch and place it where I want to cut a hole. This will be the location where screws can be used to install the wall planter to the wall. At first, I went with one hole, but later, I decided to move it lower in the diamond and have two. I followed the same commands to cut the circles out of the diamond backer plate. After loading up Prusa Slicer, I imported the model, sliced it, and exported the file for printing. I inserted the SD card into my Prusa 3D printer, located the file, and started the print. My plan is to print three of these wall planters so I could arrange them on my wall and see how the pattern would look. For the first two, I decided to go with a galaxy silver filament that was already loaded into my Prusa. It's a beautiful filament with a light shade of gray that has shiny speckles in it. The print worked out beautifully, and I decided to change the color of the third print to a galaxy purple. It'll contrast to the overall assembly, and both colors work very well together. As an architect, whenever I work on a product design like this wall planter, I'm always thinking about the process in a similar way to designing a building. I start by coming up with the general form of the overall product, questioning what it needs to properly function, and eventually 
work my way to the details of the final design like the drainage hole at the bottom of the planter, which is similar to what's called weep holes at the bottom of brick walls where water can leak out. 3D printing any project always amazes me because it literally takes a model that we just developed and creates it in real life where you can interact with it and use it for its intended purpose. Once the prints were complete, I brought them over to the wall where they'll be installed and measured a general height of 5 feet for the first planter. The idea was to keep them high enough so my dog can't reach them, but low enough so the plants could be watered and seen. Using a pencil, I marked the locations where screws will be installed and begin screwing in drywall anchors. Once all the drywall anchors are installed, I hold the wall planter up with one hand and use a drill with the other to install the screws. I repeat this process with the remaining two planters. With the new planters installed, I bring over a small bucket full of soil and use a spoon to transfer it into the planters. I put just enough soil into them so that I could relocate some plants to their new home. Top off the soil, press down to firm it up, and water the plants to help them adjust to the wall planters. Every time I walk by my dining room, I pass by this wall and take a moment to watch each of the plants grow. With time, I love that I have the ability to print more of these wall planters and continue adding them to this living green wall. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this custom playlist I've made for you that has my 3D printed projects. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next week.